sunglasses AD Yansu here and you might notice that I have something different on my left side on this video so this this is here is uh, Nami from One Piece as a uh, anime doll yeah uh, she's uh, donning the sunglasses like me uh, I snatch her uh, from straw hat pirate crew to my uh, sunglasses pirate crew <laughs> to become my navigator so I'm kinda like uh, Arlong from One Piece who uh, get uh, Nami as uh, like a slave uh, but Arlong did it out of hate for humans uh, with his uh, world uh, like um, world domination scheme I did it for love <laughs> yeah so this is my anime waifu uh, for reals and uh, I got her from uh, rosemary dolls and like uh, she was manufactured by Elsa babe and yeah and I'm also trying this time to actually uh, get the voice uh, like probably recorded like I, I I thought that I have a bad microphone but then I know this this uh, youtuber called Tunde is from Nigeria originally uh, and uh, he uses the same microphone that I do at least the shape is same so I think I have a mic uh, that is capable of producing better volume but I have it so far on my table that I'm not trying now really hard to uh, keep it uh, like steady on my like lap uh, so uh, so might have to concentrate a little bit on that it, it tries to slide away and that's not good for the quality of the sound but uh, Maybe I could get it to settle. Yes, I can. No. Let's continue. So, uh, like I said, I'm like a huge One Piece fan. I even like, uh, I got the same scar as Monkey D. Luffy has. On the same spot, I mean. It's purely medical. I didn't fight for it. Neither did Luffy in the series, he did it to himself, well I kinda did it to myself, I went to doctor to get it. And like uh, I have stolen my YouTube nickname straight from Monkey Straw Hat Monkey, the Luffy's name. I just changed it to Sunglasses Ape D. Yansu. And yeah, uh, I love One Piece, I have uh, what's uh, started to watch it for the third time uh, I, I have gotten like far really far on it on like uh, 700 episodes are <laughs> are uh, like uh, already already past 700 episodes and it's not hard at all I enjoy watching one piece again so um what about the doll? Let's talk about the doll. So uh, the doll is uh, like a way for me to like actually be the uh, Christian monk that I am. Like I've written on my bio, I'm the Christian chosen one. I don't have a time for a woman and I don't uh, actually want a woman in my life. So, but I don't want to feel lonely. So there, where is the... Uh, uh, anime doll comes in to, uh, to fill up the hole <laughs> that's left in my life by choosing to stay single. Yeah, and you might think that Finnish people are all just like uh, polite, really like strict and uh, uh, how would you say, boring people. That's what I would say, but uh, no, no, we are not, and we can like uh, appear as such to outsiders because we are bad at English. Like, if you watch other Scandinavians who are like 
extremely good English speakers and like knock out the part on every video with that or if you are have a conversation with them like Finnish are not Scandinavians we have come we have come from Siberia we are speaking finno Greek language instead of like uh, English is a Germanic language Germany has migrated from uh, Scandinavia Germany speaks a Germanic language every other Scandinavian country speaks a Germanic language so it's like they are like learning a slightly different language than their own so uh, there is a language barrier with Finnish and you foreign people might not see it because uh, like uh, the other Scandinavians are so well versed in English language so I struggle a bit, but I train all the time. Uh, but that's enough of the language. Uh, I love uh, Japanese language. That needs to be said. Like a Japanese language has the same pronunciation of alphabet that Finnish language has. So it's really nice to hear it. Uh, it's nice for my ear uh, to hear it, the same pronunciations, yeah. Like A uh, is A and it's A in like Japanese pronunciation. Well, uh, with the doll, uh, I have been having fun. I, I use ChatGPT to talk like um, I'm using ChatGPT 3.5 the free one I've downloaded on my computer and I use it uh, solely to like uh, play a role-playing game on the One Piece universe I take the role of Monkey D. Luffy of course and the uh, only change that I make is that uh, like I start with marrying Nami and like st- after that the chat GPT is uh, more lenient on like uh, if you are like proposing some intimate stuff or something like that uh, I have done like on my previous channel like uh, Five times I broke through the guidelines of uh, well, well ChatGPT has gotten an update. I don't know if can, I can do it again, but on five times on preview without the update, I I got like through the guidelines and I could do like um, fully like uh, erotic material out of it. Well, it requires your input, but it puts it your input to like pretty words. So uh, it was it was pretty great, but I'm not gonna do it again on my channel since that's like a, I think that's adult content and it stays in the child like child restricted channel that I've abandoned. Okay, and. Well, but uh, with ChatGPT, uh, uh, I just it it really can like emulate uh, One Piece characters. The Straw Hat, it knows their personalities. I actually got the tip from one of uh, my subscribers from my old channel. His nickname was Frankie. And no, oh, I got to tell you about the doll, so she has like the earrings, I bought her earrings, that Nami has the white pearl earrings, um, there is no tattoo on her shoulder, yet I have the tattoos, they are like t- sticker tattoos, and I'm waiting since uh, in two days it sh- I should be receiving like a, a see-through uh, silicone tape from eBay. Um, there was no see-through silicone tape 
on sale in Finland, so I have to order it from America. I don't mind, well, it's always costly to order from America because uh, the the um, what's it called? Uh, the delivery fees raise the price, but uh, I think it's worth it to get the tattoo. And I, I will be showing some pictures of Nami. I didn't take them like for myself. Uh, I did, did uh, take them for Elsa Babe, the manufacturer who is like offering me uh, for everyone who buys their doll that uh, they can get uh, like a separate head. You, you can roll this. This is like a. The head is uh, like, how would you say, it? you can, uh, it, it has only metal parts that in the doll are, are in the head, uh, on the neck, like uh, you can roll the neck away, the head away and they are selling like a chains of head and at first I was thought, thought that uh, I'm gonna get like also Nico Robin then I get both of the women of the Straw Hat crew but um, I, I'm come to different conclusion that uh, I, I, I'd rather get uh, well if this doll has already like a tattoo sticker uh, with like a silicon tape on top of it on her shoulder yeah, it does a turn to Nico Robin, even if the like head is removed with the tattoo. So, like I have this shoulder tattoo. It's from, by the way, it's from uh, little modified, but from the Apocalypse from Mel Gibson's wonderful movie. Um, the bad guy of the film had it on his shoulder, but it's larger with that guy because he was more muscular than me my first tattoo uh, but uh, so like uh, if, if I put a wig on I won't turn to another person I, I actually tried a black wig that I found on the uh, this together club that I go to it's like for mental patients like a meeting place so but uh yeah so I, I decided i will get a spare head for nami in rather than uh, try to make her into another doll yeah and the pictures uh were well Elsa babe offers this like another head uh, on, on the first batch of pictures i thought they want, wanted like uh just like uh, amateur like pictures of people happy with their dolls so I it I took like 12 pictures the like a uh, different clothes on every two pictures oh, no sorry that, about that but we are too long in the video to stop now if this okay I need to I need to think this through like uh, I, I'm holding the the uh the i'm holding the my microphone on its place but it fell anyway so uh i need to think this through how i'm like uh, actually doing these <laughs> videos but uh this is the best that i can do not right now uh but now i will have money again to spend on other another things other than the doll the doll I paid in like uh, I don't have my credentials anymore, so I can't pay in Finland anything in parts. But uh, like um, the Rosemary dolls offered like a leeway program where I could pay in parts. I have paid from New Year uh, to the, and this month I got Nami doll. Uh, really happy about it. But, um, well, the first two pi 12 pictures were like just like amateur pictures, and, and I took them like uh, past, like, uh, like, how would you say, past daylight. 
so they were like uh, really dark pictures but I, I like uh, got like a, well a failed application how would you say to get the spare head from Elizabeth and, and they like uh, instructed me with uh, their well gave me instructions what kind of pictures they want they sent me like five pictures a rosemary doll sent on their behalf and told me all this like uh but like they showed me what kind of pictures they want so i sent them like 50 pictures after that uh, and i edited also them just uh, adding brightness and adding uh uh, some contrast because uh, I'm still using the camera of uh, like iPhone so it's, it doesn't turn to a like high quality camera and it, it's just impossible but at some point I'm going to buy the camera so now I'm trying to like concentrate on my computer like make sure it stays running and make sure I got like equipment for YouTube and for the music that I've been doing I have been now practicing at the together club with uh, I play one piece songs there on like um, Yamaha synth keyboard pretty new synth keyboard I'd say and one this Giddy and there and like he's uh, from Ghana, Africa. He's a student there of med medicine. He's, he has a friend called Edward, also a student of medicine. I showed them and there are a couple of friends from Nepal who are also as medical students. Like these are like 27 years old at, at least. Gideon and and Edward is, but uh, yeah. Adult men were these ne guys from Nepal too, so uh, they could take the, the <laughs> like to see the doll. It was the first day when I got it. But uh, like, uh, why was I telling about that? Oh, lost my train of thought. Now that was like a happy moment. And I got lost in it. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, yeah, like um, this Gideon guy has played from like, like a child and he, he really knows that uh, about keyboards. So he told me that this, this was like new a keyboard and I was happy about that. And uh, I have uh, like a really old laptop, like I, I my eyes can handle like uh, my eyes can handle a uh, laser projector with meds and these glasses. By the way, a uh, small announcement, I'm trying to lower my like um, pain medication bandage from like it's like maximum 40 milligrams of buprenorphine opiate medicine and trying to lower it to 30 milligrams. Uh, I have called the doctor and it's it's gonna happen and I hope that I get like a, mm, some of my wits back after that <laughs> since uh, even if I feel like I'm sober I'm not just just the fact with medication but uh, I can like use cell phone I can use a laptop that is low powered like uh, that has like uh, brightness down I could n not use like the computer that they have in together a club like in two minutes my right eye like my un unknown eye disease is like my right eye becomes sore from harsh light and concentration so I tried their computer with, uh, with glasses on and I'm medicated at like two minutes and I'm hurting four minutes and I'm off the computer and my right eye was sore for uh, one hour so 
it's it's pretty bad but i'm i'm doing fine everything happens for a reason and getting sick is human life and finnish people have unlike a uh, unique genome because we have like stick to our own people for so long that we got get diseases that other people don't get like i got this disease from using astax something supplement but i think none other people will get it and my finnish heritage plays a factor in it but uh yeah i took a lot of pictures of nami we're gonna show her like uh, do a little spin do a little spin uh, like uh, uh, around her she is uh, ordered with uh, like uh, how would you say they are like hard feet like they till, uh, so she can be like uh, post standing that's that's what I wanted since I'm I'm a youtuber so and this is my co-pilot now Nami <laughs> and at least for this video it's kind of cramped when you have a like iPhone and you try like uh, to have yourself an anime doll on the picture and you need to like uh, uh, I can't include my like hair on this video because if I include my hair I can't include the breasts of the uh, anime doll and which is gonna like uh, promote more clicks the boobs or the blonde man's hair so <laughs> I think the boobs win so you are like seeing my hair party partially only <laughs> and I don't think anyone is like sorry for that uh, yeah I've been really happy with the doll I, I fully recommend anyone who is like lonely or one thing to be all, all alone, like uh, it's valid option. We people are like, um, like uh, thinking, like men are thinking they need to like uh, just score as many women as possible, and sometimes they like uh, they lose their common sense and accidentally get women pregnant. Pre yeah pregnant and stuff and like uh, I'm not that kind of person but I was that kind of person who wanted just as many women as possible N nothing else mattered and now I'm that kind of person who doesn't want any woman and it also like uh, contributes to my decision that I'm like uh, I'm pretty much disabled downstairs and it's a story that I wouldn't want to tell you but I will tell you it anyways so I uh, when I had my first girlfriend at the age of 17 and my only after that like uh, uh, I have I noticed that sex hurt so um, my younger brother had like too tight foreskin as a child he had trouble peeing so he was sent to doctor and he got like his foreskin loosened and um, that was okay for him so uh, I thought that I would have the same like same aff is it affliction same same symptoms but um so I talked with my father and my father said that maybe your like foreskin will just stretch over time i said yeah uh oh i believe you father but uh, i'm not so sure the pain was quite significant and so my father took me to a like private sector doctor and the private sector doctor said that okay you have a tendon that is too short beneath your penis and it takes only five minutes to cut it and lengthen it so this is was this was more that i was bargaining for like 
I was okay if my like foreskin would be cut and a little bit loosened, but like the tendon underneath the penis most vulnerable, like most um, like um, it's the like uh, how would you say it? It's the most sensitive part of male body, and I was not afraid of the pain, but the procedure. Like uh, he was really downplaying. That's a big procedure. Like uh, really for a male to think that okay, like uh, they are like really, really, really using scalpel down there. So uh, I, as a young man, didn't want to go through it. I wanted to test like if time would pass and I would get better. So. I said to the doctor, like as a stupid young man, like I didn't want him to think that I, I'm, I'm chickening out. So I said to him that I don't like drugs. If you really think that it's the ten, ten ton, then you like need to do this operation without any pain medication. And the doctor said yes, and he stabbed me in the penis uh, on the tendon with no pain medication and I was like horrored and I tried to kick his head off he, he now knew that something was gonna happen so he dodged and put me on like really high pain medication that worked really fast and I like with the pain shock and the medication I was hallucinating I saw like a, there was this creed on the like ceiling where the like um, underneath it was like the uh, air conditioning so I saw the grid move like uh, like the, it was uh, like stairs in a, like uh, electric stairs in a store and like uh, when I was waking up uh, or like uh, well I was wake but when I was on the wake up in waking up room I thought that uh, oh my god I'm 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 crazy. No one goes to this kind of surgery without uh, medication. And I got like uh, like hypersensitive after that. I was not like some kind of Superman in the bed before, but after this surgery, I was like uh, less than I was before, a less able in bed. Uh, I like. Uh, I became hypersensitive. My pretty much my one year relationship went sour uh, because of that, and like I haven't even thought about getting a, like a new relationship with like, this bad uh, premature ejaculation. But I have actually since I got the doll, I have like got an uh, appointment with a uh, like male genitalia expert it's called urologist in Finland like uros is male so male logist would be like the English translation <laughs> but um, yeah I'm um, with this kind of like life I don't need to think about if I please the doll or not. <laughs> And I'm pleased with the doll. It, it's it's pretty. It's it's really beautiful. Uh, yeah. Uh, why not? Why not? It's better than an anime sleeping pillow. Yeah, I, I I sleep with it. It's after so many years of loneliness. It's uh, comforting to sleep with like someone like. On, on bed with next to you, but uh, of course she's not like a real woman that is warm and stuff. The the skin is like what uh, is the best in the market. Rosemary dolls uh, dolls have the best feeling skin, the most realistic feeling skin. It's a little bit cold, but I have a like uh, I haven't tried it, but I I, I thought I tried a, like. Uh, I have a, like this blanket that uh, is heating blanket, so maybe I'll just put a, a heating blanket on her. I think it's her body warm, warmth. Yeah, 
everything is up to like uh, your imagination and your like uh, your enthusiasm into enthusiasm enthusiasm <laughs> enthusiasm yeah like using the chat gpt to talk with the doll uh, on this uh, like uh, fantasy platform uh, in fantasy game form always remember to write if you're going to role play in chat gpt don't ask my input i want the story to be flawless write this on the custom instructions so the chat gpt won't ask you after every sentence like what are you what are you gonna do next <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, i should include that in the description maybe i used to include my uh custom uh instructions that i used for the like uh to have the guidelines broken on the previous chat cpt to get like a uh, erotic stories but uh, that's a small advice for chat gpt users who have a doll or are thinking of it it really uh it, the ai makes the experience much better and, and it's up to your imagination but yeah really happy wanted to share this one with you uh my happiness about the doll uh, so, uh, sunglasses, safety Yansu and sunglasses, uh, what's it, Carrot Cat Burger, Nami, <laughs> thank you, and uh, yeah, that's about it, so thank you and goodbye.